Hi, I'm Kayla Brugger of Pilates Body by Kayla. Today we are on day three of your badass wall Pilates challenge. Today we have a full body Pilates strong workout. You're gonna need two pound ankle weights minimum. We're here to build strength, but if you don't have any ankle weights, don't worry, this workout is still challenging without them. I'm gonna drop my favorite ankle weights in the description below. Before we get to the workout, I wanna give a quick shout out to our challenge sponsor of Pure Leaf Arms CBD. Ever since experiencing anxiety attacks, I have been relying on Pure Leaf Arms CBD, especially the tincture oil that I use daily, twice a day, placing half a dropper underneath my tongue to help keep me calm throughout the day. I use the CBD gummies for triggers. They are amazing to help bring down the end and the soft gels for sleep. We all know how hard sleep is to come by when you are a mama of two littles, and these have been giving me a very, very good restful night's sleep. Purely Farms is a women-led, family-owned business. I love their products, I trust in them, and I love using them for so many different reasons, but they are gonna be a great partner for you for your overall health and wellness. Let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your ankle weights on and we're gonna stand about an arms width distance away from the wall, slight bend in your knees so you've got a nice flat back here. Let's inhale, arch the back, lift the chin, lift the chest coming into a standing cow stretch and then exhale round and curl into standing cat. Do a couple of those, inhaling to open the front line of the body and then exhale to round and feel the core muscles engaging. One more time, hold the round back here, slide your hands down the wall, reach for your toes, reverse your arm circle, coming back up. Two more of those roll downs, graze those fingertips down the wall, big reverse arm circle coming back up. Last one, and bring it all the way back up, arms overhead. Plant your right foot against the wall here, find a big lunge stretch, try to touch your fingertips towards the wall, and then go ahead and straighten out the right leg, bring a little bit in the hamstring starting to get our stabilizers kicked on here. Last lunge forward, hold the hands against the wall, sweep your right leg down, hinge forward and pull the right leg back. So now your body is making a cap a letter T. We're gonna go three lift and lowers here, down and exhale up, feeling the hamstring and glute. Again, getting some good balance. Now we're gonna hold the leg up, that's your inhale. Exhale, round and curl, coming into a standing cat. Standing cat crunch, exhale. One more time, and exhale. Set the right foot down, sweep the fingertips down the wall, roll down and back up. Biceps up by your ears, lunge your left foot up to the wall, sink forward, touch the fingertips to the wall, and straighten out the left leg. Lunge and straighten. Now hold the lunge, hands go to the wall, sweep the left leg back for those three lower and lifts. Exhale as you're coming up, two, and last one, hold it high, take a breath in. Exhale, round the spine for that cat crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round out cat crunch. One more time, and exhale. Set the foot down, sweep the fingertips down the wall, rebuild the spine up one more time. That is gonna complete our warm up. Let's get into our first standing sequence. And about a hand's width away from the wall, I want you a little bit more angled and let's come up on to your toes here. We've got a squat and wall push up. So you're gonna bend those knees, drop it down, rise on up, take the tricep push up with those elbows pointing down towards the floor. We're here for 10, so you get a little legs, a little upper body combo move here. Now just remember with the push-ups, if you need more challenge, your legs are gonna be further away from the wall so you're more at an incline. That's gonna decrease the range of motion of the squat a little bit, but increase the work into the upper body. Let's go three more. Last one, and move your hands now into a diamond so the fingertips are touching, and now your heels are gonna come together. We're taking triangle push-ups, you're gonna bend your elbows wide, 
drop it down, plie squat. Bend, drop it down, plie squat. And find the range of motion that works well for you. This is a full body wall Pilates strength building workout. So make sure this is challenging enough. When you get to those final two reps, it should be hard to push the wall away. We've got three more. Stand up nice and tall. We're gonna go back hip width distance and parallel for a wall Pilates push-up clap. Bending those elbows down. Launch yourself off the wall, clap those hands. Softly resist yourself back in. Strong core, squeeze your glutes. Three, two, and one. Woo! Definitely feeling the upper body. Heart rate's coming up a little bit. Let's go ahead and step back. So place your hands against the wall. I want you in that nice flat back position here. And go ahead and bring your legs together, feet touching. Let's start with a single leg lift. Balancing on your left leg, let's begin with the right leg. Exhale, you're gonna lift the leg up and then just tap those toes down. We're here for 10. Last three. Hold the next one at the top, and let's find hamstring curls. Try not to bend or drop the knee down, but you're gonna bend your knee, take your heel to your seat, and extend out long. And we're here for 10. Strong core, relax the shoulders. Last one, hold the bend, give me pulses, up for 10. Three, two, one. Try not to let the leg drop, extend out nice and long, point the toe. We've got five circles, up and around, up and around, really working the lift, staying as steady as you can. One more, meet the circle at the top and reverse it for five. Hold the leg long, deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna pull the knee towards the nose. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Come off the wall and find a standing balance there. Woo, that was challenging. Take those hands back to the wall. Find your hinge here as you come back to your T position. And then again, lift the chin, lift the chest, balancing on the left leg as the right knee pulls through. And we've got one more of those to finish out this leg. Actually feeling that standing leg way more than the moving leg. And take the right leg down, repeating that on the left side. Find your hinge forward, nice flat back, soft elbows, relaxed shoulder, starting with the leg lift for 10. Really focus on moving from the left hamstring and glute. Always thinking about your core. After all, this is a Pilates based class. Core is everything. Hold the next one up and we've got our hamstring curls. Bend the knee, kick the heel to the seat. Try not to let the knee drop. Really feel the hamstring coil in. Hold it nice and long, we pulse it up here 10. Right at the crease of the seat. It's a baby movement, more up than down. You've got this, give me three more. Two, one, hold it nice and long. Oh my gosh, second side, so much harder than the first side. We're gonna circle in and up. They're small circles, like the size of a basketball. Trying to again, think about the lift up more than you're dropping down. One more to the top and reverse it for five. Hold it long, start to pull the left knee through. Find your balance, lift your chin, lift your chest. Kind of push yourself gently off the wall, lifting the left knee up. Oh my gosh, 
my right leg is completely tremoring in this balance. Oh my goodness, embrace the shake, queens. You've got this one more time. Woo! Hold it up there and go ahead and release it down. Catch your breath, grab a quick drink of water here. We're moving into our planks next. Find yourself down on all fours in a tabletop position and begin to extend one leg back towards the wall. So that's gonna determine your setup here. We're gonna start with a toe down at the baseboard. Curl your other toe under and let's begin to hover the knee up for three. Exhale, really focus on lifting from your core two. And last one, we're gonna hold up and you're gonna change. Right leg goes to the wall, left knee comes in, tap the knee down and exhale, lift for three and two and one more. Now you can stay right here or I'm gonna challenge you to push one leg up against the wall and you're gonna have to make a body adjustment there. So that's gonna definitely add more of a challenge through your shoulders and stabilizers. So exhale, we're gonna lift, hover for three, exhale, two. Now here's the challenge in the transition to hold the lift, push against the wall, and bring the other knee in, tap it down. Exhale, we're gonna lift for three, exhale, two, and one more. Hold there, push against the wall, start to tuck your chin, send your butt up. So I want you to really feel the press back in your shoulders. Now walk your feet up the wall, walk your hands up the wall. So it's like you're coming into a handstand. And then you're gonna walk your feet down and your hands forward. Let's try that again. Walk your feet up the wall, walk your hands in, getting some good shoulder work here. Slowly walking the toes down and walking the hands out to your plank. One more, walking in and walking up the wall. Holy moly, this is a very advanced movement, very connected to your shoulders. After all, this is the Badass Wall Pilates Challenge. Being an ex-gymnast, I had to bring in a little bit of handstand prep here. Now we are gonna work on bridges, working our glutes and our abs to finish. Lying down on your back, plant your feet up against the wall, shins parallel with the floor and ceiling. Let's start with a nice gentle spinal roll here. Go ahead and pick the hips up, rolling the spine, lift, and then rolling back down. We're here for five. Oh my gosh, doesn't it feel? amazing to lie down on your back after what we've already done yes this is so juicy one more time rolling up and back down let's take the arms overhead take a big breath in as we stretch back nice and long exhale the arms are going to come up we're going to find a nice curl and crunch inhale stretch it back exhale scoop out the abs really feel the head neck and shoulders lift from your core Two more. And last one. Hands come down, head comes down. I'm gonna come back into your bridges. This time we're gonna go flat back. So let's go ahead and just take those hips up, squeeze the glutes, and then tap down. Exhale up, trying to find full hip extension. And three, two, last one. Inhale, the arms come back. Take them behind your head to support your neck. Exhale, curl and crunch, bringing your knee in, let it go. Exhale, alternating, let it go. Here for eight. Last one. Now I feel myself sliding back away from the wall, so I'm just gonna do a little adjustment wiggling forward. So notice that if you need to make that adjustment at any point of time, we are going to move into that flat back bridge again. Exhale, send it up. Now take your right leg off the wall and extend it straight up towards the ceiling. We're gonna lower the leg, tap the wall, lift it back up. Now bring it down and up for a single leg bridge. Lower, lift, tap those hips down, up lower lift tap down and up so really feeling that left hamstring glute connection getting a little quad on that right leg one more time and bring it down let's switch right foot back to the wall adjust if you felt yourself pushing away 
deep breath in to prepare. Exhale, send the hips straight up towards the sky. Pull the left foot off the wall, extend it straight up. We go to the lower and lift, tap the hips down and up. Lower, lift, tap it down and up. Three more combos here. Really firing that right hamstring glute. Last one, send it down, reset. We are gonna take our hands back behind our head to support the neck, coming into a little bit more core work here. Bring your legs together, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna curl into that crunch and glide the legs up the wall, bend the knees and return it back down. So finishing out with some deep abdominal work here. Exhale as you're curling and extending the legs, noticing how the leg or the wall offers some good support of the legs. Last two. And one more. Hold here. We're gonna grab the right leg, give it a nice good pull in for a little scissor combo. Changing, good pull. Pull as you change. Keep the chin off the chest slightly, holding that abdominal connection. Here we go for five. Hold the left leg up, return the hands behind the head. We're gonna inhale, lower the left leg to the wall. Exhale, crunch back up and lift the right leg. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, curl and crunch, lift the left leg. Really feel the abdominals contracting. We're here for five. In two, we're gonna move into a crisscross with the same scissor leg here. So on the next one, the right leg lifts. So you're gonna cross over into a little rotation. Take it down, change, cross left. As you lift, firing those obliques. This is our finisher here. Don't quit, give it all you got. We've got six. Final three, yes you can, you badass queen. Two more, I see you. Last one, up, 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 and take it in to a nice long body stretch. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze as we gently rock the knees from side to side. If you like a little supine twist here, you can let the knees fall to one side. Lower back, I'm already feeling that in the glutes. We've definitely worked the booty a lot in those standing exercises. Give yourself one last hug, thanking your body for all the hard work it just did for you today. Way to rock out, day three, full body, wall Pilates strong. If you like this workout, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get updated on all the weekly Pilates workouts. I will see you tomorrow in day four, arms and abs workout. Let's go.